My name is Eric Tickler and I'm the fair manager. This is the exhibit building where we house all the livestock. The, ca the cattle, the chickens, the rabbits. And then in this half we hold all the skill exhibits where are the crafts and the produce and the jams and jellies and everything that all the people of the county make and enter into the fair. It's uh, a full-time job on a volunteer salary. <laughs> but it's a good time. The pay is seeing all the smiles on everybody's faces and everyone having a good time. And when the weather cooperates and we have sunshine and a nice breeze, it's a good day. The last couple of days have been a little uh, rainy, but uh, today the sun and the weather is cooperating. So we've got a crowd coming out and that's always a good thing. This is not being like a library This side over here is our children's activities tent and everything in there is free to the kids. They can come in and play games and do obstacle courses and uh, we had a guess the way to the pig competition and a hay bale stacking competition throughout the weekend. And then on this side they operated a dunk tank which 100% of the proceeds went back to local clubs in the community. So they came out and ran it for the weekend and they get to keep the money from it. So that was kind of a fun thing we did. Save the water coalition. Um, we're trying to keep clean air and clean water. <laughs> and this is the uh, Mellon Fire Department who's been on our standby and uh, been helping out with water and down all the tracks and the arenas and uh, any first aid we needed, anything like that. They've been uh, super helpful bringing generators when we had power outages and, and this is one of our new vendors. Um, he, he grows local fungi and mushrooms and has for sale and things like that. So uh, kind of a new one we had this year, but it uh, seems to be pretty interesting and uh, yeah. getting a lot of, of people coming out. And then uh, over on this side, we have Daggett Woodworkers Studio. Um, they're right from Daggett, Michigan here, so they're local. And they make pretty much anything out of wood. They can do from cutting boards to stools to signs, you name it, they can make it. So that was a new one. And then uh, Windrose North is out of Menominee, Michigan. They sell everything from work boots to fish in the words. Um, pretty much anything you need there. They got Yeti products, they got everything in there. And then obviously over there we have the wrestling going on. And then now we got some food vendors here. This is Zoom In out of Wallace, Michigan. Um, he has pretty much anything deep fried you could ask for. He's got it in there. He's got deep fried pulled pork chimichangas that are to die for. And then we got the Bakers, which is out of Stevenson here. And they got anything dairy in there. They got milkshakes and ice cream and you name it, they got it. And we got Mr. DNL Chainsaw over here carving up a storm, uh, making any kind of thing he can out of wood. All locally sourced wood that came right from Menominee County, so that was nice. And then we have the ladies at Pure Romance over here. Um, they got kids games and products for sale and they're sitting out. And then we got Lynn's Meyer Implement, who uh, is from Wallace, Michigan. They got all kinds of different implements out and uh, tractors, side-by-sides, things like that going on. And then we have one of our county commissioners, Bill Check, selling sweet corn. Um, $3 a cob, sweet corn growing here in the county. So. <laughs> and then this is Tri-State Amusement, um, the carnival that we have come out. Uh, they got everything from games to food to rides, you name it, they got it going on up here. Um, they have a little bit of everything. Um, they, they keep the kids entertained and the family fed, so we definitely like to see that. Um, they do pretty well and uh, like I say, it gives the kids something to do while the parents want to go and relax. So. This is our, 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 our big draw for the weekend, is, is the carnival. So. <laughs> <laughs> the kids, uh, kids really enjoy it. Um, and we got lovely Heather working in the food wagon here. The best French fries, best best funnel cakes, and everyone around. And we got the games and the lemonade stand, of course, like that. Um, and that's kind of what we call like our midway entertainment. I don't think they're right up by the horse show now. Carney High School Band is running a, a beanbag tournament. Um, they have a $100 cash prize for first place. 
Uh, we always have a good turnout for this. Um, get something from the do. A lot of people like throwing bean bags, so a perfect day for it. Nice sunny day out throwing the bags around. And then we'll go up at a horse show see if we want to catch some of that. See if we can catch a little bit of that while that's going on. Oh yeah, the, the park itself is over 30 acres that they use. I think we have uh, close to 100 acres at our disposal. Um, so that was like the, the grand, like the midway side of things where most of our vendors and everyone set up. This is our horse arena and truck pull side. Um, today is our horse show. So that's our main attraction over here for the day. We have the kids doing the 4-H show. Um, they do speed events, they do all their classes, all different kinds of things. Friday night we had our horse pulls in there. We had the big drafts out and the ponies pulling and they, they were working up a storm. It was a pretty good show. And then just north of that is the truck pull up on the hill. And they pull everything from pickup trucks to the big semi trucks up there. And they do tractor pulls and lawnmower pulls as well. So that was always a, a fan favorite up there. That's a good draw on Saturday. We do that one. You want to drive through like the, the livestock barn on the inside? Want to catch an inside shot of that? Sure. Okay. It's coming back. It used to be pretty, uh, pretty small, but uh, we have a good crew of volunteers that help and a, a good community behind us that want to see it grow. So we're we're expanding every year. We're trying new things, getting things going, getting things rolling. Um, Livestock barn. We have everything from cattle to the sheep to the goats, you name it. We have it all in here. The chickens, okay. the rabbits, things like that. Sabrina, one of our local favorites. Um, the kids throughout the weekend in various different shows. Um, showmanship, market classes, all different kinds of things. And then we got the poultry and rabbits over there. We got pigeons, we got ducks and chickens and everything. This is one of our lovely queen or princess. One of our lovely queen contestants. You want to wave and say hi? She's sitting running our information booth where we sell our t-shirts and give out schedules and things like that so we can have uh, information to anyone that needs it and help out the still ladies with everything I'm guessing. Yeah. And then they have all kinds of different crafts and flora and flora in here and stuff for the weekend. Uh, wood projects, all different kinds of things going on. So there's Laura, our lovely, our lovely still superintendent. <laughs> all right, welcome to the fair. <laughs> See you next year. Watch and there's something. <laughs> shows cattle and stuff throughout the weekend too. It's been a long weekend up here. It's by Sunday are pretty wore out. Everyone had a good time. And despite the weather, the sun is like I say is out now and shining. And people are out enjoying themselves and that's what we look for. KM Rentals keeps us fully stocked with portable toilets and hand washing stations. So we really like them. <laughs> 